Hey there YouTube, um, I just wanted to make a quick uh, installation and startup video about this whole Textabus thing and a little bit of a minor demonstration of uh, what I had in mind. It's a very simple concept, it's just a panning workspace for Vim. So I'm going to start with a, no, start with a, like a blank slate uh, with no uh, resource file. Um, this is the, this is a sort of the stock Vim. Um, I'm just going to uh, change directory to the um, where I have the actual script uh, loaded and all my files loaded, saved. Um, so Dropbox. Uh, I think. All right, and uh, I'm gonna open up the script. Um, here it is, and I'm gonna source it by pressing S O parentheses or not parentheses percentage sign for the current file. Source the file, uh, load everything, and um, once once you have it loaded, you can just press F10. Uh, it's a hotkey, you can later reassign it if you're interested. And uh, it pops up the message saying, enter file pattern or type help. Um, if you type help, um, it'll show up with a, 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 a an introduction uh, with what I just told you, um, some c commands. And um, if you press M for monologue at the end of it, I have written an essay about what I had in mind and stuff like that. So um, we, can, we can skip all that uh, and just start with the file pattern. Um, you can put anything you want. Um, you put in like L, print star, it'll come up with a list of files that starts with L. Um, um, I'm gonna escape that and just and just use my uh, the plane I have uh, I have loaded, um, which is unimaginably called plane. And um, as you can see, I've, I have uh, I think 19 files here. Um, I can press enter to load it. It's not gonna load all 19 files at once, but it's just gonna you know load whatever ones that uh that um that as it as it needs load files as it needs so here here we have a uh, file plane zero zero one the first file and um as you can see I can pan with the mouse and uh I can pan at plane two and um the whole thing actually wraps so uh if you pan left you'll go back to the uh the end of the plane so it's more of a more of a cylinder um and so uh there's a few ways to navigate um you can obviously pan with a mouse. You can actually zoom in and out as well, depending on the features of your uh, terminal emulator, and it'll redraw upon panning. Um, it's nice to have the mouse enabled. Uh, you know, uh, you're not too good for the mouse if you're using Vim. Um, uh, you can you can also pan with the keyboard, and um, this is this is something I recently implemented, which is a kind of a grid. Um, this uh, display down here says I'm in uh, grid grid A. Uh, in, in between column 0 and 1. So basically I'm in A0. Um, and if I pan pan right here, you can see uh, I'm in between A and B. Now I'm fully in grid B. Or, well, now I'm fully in grid B, I guess. And uh, I'm in grid B1, between 1 and 2. Now I'm in grid B2. So I can pan with the keyboard by pressing the F10, the hotkey, and using the normal Vim keys. And as you can see, uh, it's a lot faster with the keyboard. Uh, the final, op final option you have is with a little map, um, which is, and this is all explained in the help file, by the way, which is F10O. And here you have a you have a ra ra rather cryptic looking blank uh, map um, with the, with the grid coordinates at the bottom, and uh, you can press C to change it. So I can say this is like treasure. Oh, I misspelled that. Whatever, and uh, I can change this to say you know. Um, more treasure. Um, it's very unimaginative of me, like a cave. So um, I can press enter now and jump to grid D4, or I can press uh, F10 O again and jump to the cave. And it's it's I think a G I think it's it's the very last coordinate. So it actually wraps around. So um, the map is whoops, the map is uh, yet another way to navigate things. Um, uh, you know, you can, you can name grids that don't exist, but uh, it won't be very helpful. So that's basically it. Um, you know, uh, everything should work on startup. If not, um, send me an email. If there's any weird bugs, send me an email. My email is actually lo located uh, at the help file. Um, it's all at all the bottom, bottom. So um, I hope you give it a shot. Um, uh, you can read the, read, the, uh, read the help file and the essays for... Um, the intended use and what I had in mind when I wrote this. So, uh, yeah, thanks a lot, and hope you give it a shot. Oh, what is it? ZZ. All right.